Howdy folks, welcome to episode 26. Today we're going to take our train to the coal mine and so we've got to do a little bit of uh, putting the everything together first but uh, we, we've got the Heisler loaded up here as I'll show you here we've got 100% yeah we got almost 100% on our fuel so what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this we're gonna bring this back around and so that we can go head first we're gonna bring this back around up here up the hill and up past this switch and we need to get the engine past this switch and then throw this switch so let me make sure that I'm in a position where I can throw the switch okay so we can throw the switch let me see I can still throw the switch there alright yeah so we're gonna get this so that we can throw the switch to go the other way and up the hill and then our other train is waiting at the top of the hill so what I need to do is I need to bring up the controller for the Heisler and it's not showing the map this time it's the roll of dice whether or not it's actually going to do it so open controls all right and we're going to go we're going to put our reverser on full and a regulator on full and we're going to release the brakes and that should be coming All right, and I don't, aw oh man, I can't do the bell. I can't control the bell from here. That's too bad. But yeah, this should get us, this should get us moving. We should be seeing the, yeah, here's our coal cars coming around, our hopper cars. Hopper cars are coming around. Wow, look at the difference in the frame rate when the, when the thing's moving. <laughs> So it's going to be the right mouse button. Once the last car goes, once the last hopper goes past, we want to hit the right mouse button. Okay. So that's the plan. And then the other train is waiting at the top of the hill. We're going to have to bring it down the big hill. We've got two engines on that one. We've got the Class 48 and the, um, the Glenbrook. And we're going to make a triple header to go to the coal mine. So the Glenbrook, the Class 48, and the Heisler are going to together pull um, 15 hopper cars and 22 flat cars. 20 with, um, is it 22? I think it's 22. Or 12. No, 12. It's going to be 12 uh, cars. So then we're going to have a total of 27 cars and 3 engines. It's 12 flat cars. 10 of them have beams on them and two of them have rails so we did a 25 and a half wow it's like it's like old timey stuff it's so choppy but yeah we did a 25 and a half where we put all this stuff together we put all the other cars together and loaded everything up and all that fun stuff so this is starting to lose speed 12.5 12.1 12 11.7 if I remember correctly this basically barely made it like like maybe a car length past 11.1 11 10 there's 10.0 oh it's doing okay all right so we're gonna switch this all right and then we're going to um, we're going to turn off the regulator and let this coast back. There we go. We'll hit the brakes here. There we go. All right. So uh, you would assume that we're the switch man and somebody else is driving this thing, right? We've got somebody else at the controls is what's going on here. So we'll let this get all past here we need to we need to get the last car past the switch again we'll actually probably get this up the hill a little bit just so that we don't have any um, just so that we don't have any issues with the next car coming down the hill and having to be um, 
having to slam on the brakes because it's going to come down the hill with some heat on it. So. All right. It's going 15, 14. See, it's already going uphill. Okay. We'll get this moving. There we go. Current speed 13, 12. Let's go this way. Let's even get a little bit farther up here. Here, let's just stand on this if we can. There we go. All right, we'll see where we can get to with this. Looks like a pretty good spot for that. Let's see if we can coast to a stop here. A little bit more. Okay, yeah, that looks good. I wanted to get the last car up to about where the bridge is ish. Okay. Oh, well, that's perfect. All right, we'll hit the brakes here. Okay, so we can close. Whoa. Wait a minute. Is it going to stop? It is going to stop. Okay. It was just the tension in the. It was just the uh, slack. Okay. All right, so we're going to go back up the hill. Our switches are already set for to go the right way so that we go the right way. And then we're going to, um, yeah, we're going to bring this. So this is what we've got. We've got this, all these, and then these two engines. So we're going to load these back up. We can reach it, right? There we go. We'll load these two back up. And then we can head down the hill. All right. So what we want to do is here. Let's get this. I think we can stand up about here, maybe. And we're going to go like this. So I'm going to bring up the I'm going to bring up the controls for this train and then we're going to push it with the controls. So let me see here. Is it this one? Yeah, there we go. All right. My apologies. I got <laughs> can't show you the the screen there. Okay, so we're gonna go reverser. Give a little, little bit of juice here. Not sure why it's pushing us up the hill. We're over a crest. There's a little bit of a crest there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start putting the brakes on the, the bottom cars first once we get rolling down this hill. 3.6. Once we get rolling down the hill, I'm going to start applying brakes on all these cars. We're still slowing down? Yeah, we're still slowing down. We'll get a little bit more speed here. There we go. It's still, it's still, I turn the gas off and it's still dropping speed again. Okay, there it goes. It's picking up speed. Okay, so I'm going to start applying brakes on one car. Two cars. We're at 4.3. Oh, we're losing speed. Okay, we'll leave the brakes off. We can't apply them all yet. <laughs> Nope, we can't apply them yet. Okay. I gotta take all the brakes off again. It'd be nice if you could link all the brakes together on all the cars. It'd be really nice. I guess you'd have to have a person on each car of the train to do that. 
There we go. Okay, now we're picking up some speed. So I did have to put in a floating thing here because our, our other track that goes off and does a spiral, um, our other track that goes off and does a spiral, it does this thing where um, where you, uh, I don't know how to describe it. It does this thing where you, uh, oh, it's it's the uh, the bridge. The, it goes over itself, and the the bridge was um, the, you got these trestles right here, and there, when we built it, we built it so that the pr trestle was missing. But then they fixed that bug where the trestles weren't on the end of the the bug that was preventing the trestles from being on the thing. Yeah, they fixed that, and so now the trestles are back, and and so basically we had a trestle like right dead center in the track, <laughs> smack dab in the middle. <laughs> okay, I've got brakes on half of the cars right now. I've got brakes on almost all of them. Okay, that looks like we should be able to control it with the engine now, maybe? Nope. Alright. I've got brakes on six cars right now. But I want to if I can use the engine to control how much brake we use. I'm not sure if this is even a shortcut. <laughs> That's right. Lengthwise it might be, but time wise, I don't know. <laughs> Stress wise it definitely is not. <laughs> this is definitely not the easy way. You talk about difficulty levels, <laughs> right? I think this is more of an appropriate uh, way to describe difficulty. Okay. There we go. Start applying brakes on more cars again. We're going to put the brakes on the engines. And more cars. Okay. We're dropping down to eight. So we'll let the engines do their thing. Let the brakes off the engines. We're going about nine. That's good. That works pretty well. We're going 12, 12 and a half. We're picking up speed again. Let's see if I hit all the brakes. Okay, hitting all the brakes is enough. Cool. And this is the steepest part, so we actually won't need any more brakes than this. Oh, this is perfect. The other thing I need to make sure I do is I need to make sure that I get... Um, let's do that now in a second here. Seven miles an hour, or... or meters per second or whatever it is, seven units per unit. Okay, we're gonna go like this. We're gonna put a clippy on the end of that. There we go. Okay. And let's go back to this. And we're gonna go like that. Okay, our brakes are off on the engine. So I'm going to start taking brakes off on the cars. There we go. Because worst case, we can push with the engine again if we need to. But right, let's get our brakes on on the locomotives. Taking the brakes off the cars again. There we go. Okay, so all the brakes on the cars are off. We only have the brakes on the locomotives right now. We're going five and a half. Seven and a half. I just took all the brakes off. Eight. I don't want to go too much faster because I don't want to ram into this. And then we can put this all together. And what we need to do is we'll need to re-rail the, the two engines and the tender. 
so that we can put them on the front. Our speed is still eight, seven. What happens if I hit all the brakes? Okay, we're slowing down now again. Good. I don't want to hit this at more than like two or three. I know you can bump them pretty hard, but I don't want to. All right, there we go. See if we can, I think we're gonna to need to hit reverser in order to get this to happen. We're going two. <laughs> All right. Cause there's still the, the engine and stuff are uphill. So they're still pushing. They're still uphill from where we are. All right. Go like this. There we go. All right. So now we've got all of our cars ready here. And I believe the Heisler has the brakes on. So we're going to go like this, hit the brakes. All right, um, and I think the Heisler is now, yeah, the Heisler is now connected to this. Cool. So yeah, we've got 30, 30 cars on here right now. So what we're gonna do is we're going to, I'm gonna save right now, just so that uh, in case I screw something up royally. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to re-rail this. Is it gonna let me? There we go. Okay, the class 48. We're going to re-rail the class 48 and we're going to put it up front. Hopefully we can reach there. We should be able to reach there. Okay, and we need to turn it around. There we go. All right. And then we should be able to take the brakes off of this. Can we hit F? Can we get in there with F? Nope. Can't get in there with F. We got to go up here so we can get in all right we'll take the brakes off oh you know what we need to do too is we need to put a a clippy on this so let's take the brakes off and then we're going to put a clippy on the back or on the heisler one or the other let's go put a clippy on the heisler let's hit the brakes again all right that was interesting. We must have hit it when I wasn't looking. Ah, oh, 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 come on. <laughs> All right. Take the brakes back off. I hate that. It keeps clicking on the door. Okay. Whoops. Oh, I think we're going to need to do... Yeah, we are. Okay. Um, we're going to have to go like this. And we're going to have to put the clip on this side. There. And we're going to have to take this one off. Okay. Break. And let it run in. We'll let it run in to the Heisler here. All right. Bonk. Okay. So we got that one. And then we're going to hit our brake again. Are we stopped? We're still pushing backwards. Let's go like this. Okay, cool. All right, we're stopped. Okay, so we need to go back again. That's what this side thing is for, except I can't stay on it because I'm running too fast. All right, and then we're gonna put this Because I want the I want the Glen Burke on the front. I think that's going to be cool. That's going to be cool having the big Glen Burke on the very front. All right, so we're going to put our tender up here. Is that the right way? Come on. 
There we go. Oh man, hit the brakes, hit the brakes. There. <laughs> it's really, really fast. All right, much better. <laughs> okay, we got that. And then we need to put this tongue up. Okay, our brakes are off. Awesome. And then we only got one more. We have one more and then we can go. And I definitely want to save again after we get this put together. All right, re-rail. Re-rail the Glenbrook. And then we'll double check and make sure the brakes are off on everybody and stuff like that before we go. And we're gonna to need to turn this around. Yep, it's beautiful. Okay, so let's go like this. Oh, you know what we need to do? We need to, oh, no, we don't need to do that on this because the front of the other one is already set up. All right. Okay, let me back this up. Those wheels remind me of like old timey circus, circus designs and stuff. All right. Okay, so we've got, there we go. Okay, cool. So let's, the other thing we wanna do is we wanna make sure everybody is loaded up. There we go. Make sure everybody is fully fueled because it's going to be a long trip. There we go. Now make sure this one is fueled up. It should be. It didn't do that much. Wow. Okay. Cool. And then we're going to stand up here. And like I said, I'm going to save first. We'll stand on the back of this. I think we can stand right here. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to save. Save game. Everything's ready to go. I really wish you could put names on the games. And we're going to use... That's cool. We're going to use the regulator on this one. Is it this one here? Yep. Okay. All right, get our reverser forward, regulator all the way up to full so that we don't back down the hill, and then let's go. Beautiful. Awesome. I might even decide to like fly above this and watch from above at some point too. That would be kind of fun, wouldn't it? We could watch from way up in the air. Let's go like... Whoops. My apologies. <laughs> I didn't click first. We can go like... Let's see what I can do. As far as... Cheats. I can open up the cheats window for the player. I can enable flying. There we go. Okay. So then the player should be able to should be able to go up in the air here. Apparently, I'm still moving with the train. Look. It's, oh, that's awesome. That's cool. I don't need to... Um, here, can I go over this way a little bit? Oh, that's really cool. It's going to keep me with the trains. It's going to keep me with the engines. I don't want to get too high up in the air here. Just want to get a little bit forward of it so we can see the whole thing when we look back. There we go. 
Oh, that's cool. Let's see. And this, is, I think, is our steep... Um, I mean, this is a fairly steep incline here, just coming in. So I think we'll be okay. Because I don't think any part of this goes past 3% grade. No, I don't think there's any part of this that's, that's steeper than that. Can we come back a little bit? There we go. Perfect. Now we can see the whole thing. I like that view. It's kind of fun. It's nice that we know we can go back into the train too. But I'm like I'm enjoying this view for a train this big. It's fun to see the whole thing at the same time. It's one of those oddly satisfying things, right? <laughs> All right, let's move. You know what? I'm going to turn this off so you can see the whole thing for right now. That's pretty cool. Turn it up so we can hear. So I'm, I'm just going to need to keep an eye on the speed. Our speed is currently 6. I'm going to need to keep an eye on the speed. Um, because there are downhill, obviously there's uphill and downhill on this. And there's a big rainstorm outside, that's, if, that's, if you're hearing it. <laughs> It's raining really hard on the side of the house, so. <laughs> and the wind's blowing. All right, anyway. We're up to 6.8. So yeah, I'm gonna probably need to, uh, I'm gonna need to regulate the speed throughout this. I'm gonna need to use the regulator to make sure that we're, um, you know, <laughs> continuing to go up the hills and not going 30 down the hills and stuff like that because there are some points where we go down hills and everything too. Are we up to... Where's the waterfall? Is that just ahead? Or is it a ways up there? Oh, it's a lot farther ahead than I thought. I thought the waterfall was like right behind us. Okay. Well, we've got waterfall coming up. But we've got quite a bit of... Man, that is so choppy. Should I record it in 60 FPS? Just. <laughs> I forgot about that part. <laughs> Should I record it in 60 FPS just so that. Uh, <laughs> so that you can watch it with the 10 frame per second video in 60 FPS? <laughs> I mean, it's kind of like, you know, when they do. Um, they update they re-encode, you know, old cartoons for <laughs> for uh, uh, DVD and that kind of thing. Look, it's in HD, it's in 4K. Like, it's, it's a line drawing. Why does it need to be in 4K? <laughs> uh, that's cool. We're up to 7.3. See, this is why I wanted to bring all these engines, too. I figured this would be more fun doing one really big train rather than doing like, you know, going up with the the boards only and then bringing the then bringing them back and then coming up with the the coal only, the empty hoppers and then bringing the full hoppers back. I figured it'd be more fun to do it this way. 30 cars. I think this is the longest train I've done, too. I think before this, the most we did was like 22. Something like 22. Here. Come back this way. I think that's what it was. It might have been... I might have done something longer than that, but I'm pretty sure we did the lumber... We did a lumber train with like 22 cars on it. Where did we bring that to? I don't remember where we went with that one. I like the trees popping in and out, though. <laughs> Alright, should we... 
go back into the... I'm, I'm kind of tempted to just do this whole run like this. It's kind of fun. But let's go jump back into the train for a minute. this. There we go. Alright. I like our paint on here. All of our red paint everywhere. <laughs> Barn red. I wonder if it's just the pigment for that is really cheap or something. I don't know what pigment they use for that. Maybe it's, it's probably iron. Right? It looks rust colored. I'll bet it's iron based paint and that's why it's so cheap. Hey, is our generator working? Because it looks like the light is on, doesn't it? I don't know. Maybe it's on all the time. It might just, it might be just on all the time. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. We're going to go past the waterfall here in a bit. Is this coming up? Yeah, it's coming up. All right, so we're going to do this. And we're going to do this. Did it take flying mode off? I think it did. Okay. Well, we'll do this. We're going to go like this. And we're going to watch the whole train go by the waterfall. Because that'll be fun. <laughs> don't mind the... Uh, <laughs> don't mind the... Here, now you can't tell. <laughs> Great. Now you can't tell that they don't go all the way into the ground. There we go. Yeah, we're, we're still doing a constant 7. Constant 7.2, 7.3. Here it comes. Here, we'll do this too. It doesn't do all of them. Let me see. Yeah, it doesn't do all of them. That's too bad. It'd be cool if it synchronized the whistles, wouldn't it? That would be awesome. You know what? I need to make sure that this other switch is the right way, too. Yeah, it is. Okay. That would suck to have to back up. <laughs> Because the switch was the wrong way. <laughs> We're going up to the iron mine instead. Whoops. This really shows how slow it's moving too, doesn't it? Yeah, let's go over this way. Yep, it's up. Uh, yep, it's the right way. Okay, cool. We're going to go stand on the train again here let's go stand on this one there we go Still got all our cars. That's a good sign. I suppose I could let uh, change the controls so that we're controlling the Heisler instead, and then it would do that one. Let me try that. See if I can get that to happen. I'm gonna close that. I'm gonna go up to our engines. Open controls. Nope. Oh, I gotta turn it off. Okay. Here. Synchronize. Synchronize. Alright. We're coming up to level ground. We're speeding up here. We're up to 12. Cool. Let's go like this.
Yeah, we're going 11. Alright, we're on level ground right now. I don't want to be in too much of a hurry here. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to jump back out and see if we can see if we can stand on the train again. And then we can do our enable flying and see if it'll let me do that. Whoops. Yep, it's going to let me do the same thing. Okay, awesome. All right, we'll get up here in the air a little bit. So we can see better. That's beautiful. Look at how long that is. <laughs> All right. Cool. And let's see how much fuel we have. We're still, yeah, we're still good on fuel so far. I'm probably going to have to stop and not stop the train, but I'm probably going to have to go back and add in more fuel again. See if we can find the back cars on here. Let's go up a little bit more. See if we can see the whole train. Whoops. Go up in the air. You can see the whole train. There we go. Nice. I want to be able to see the whole thing. <laughs> we'll come back down in a little bit. I love that it keeps you moving along with it. That's so cool. You don't have to keep adjusting and everything. We're almost making a heart there. Between the river and the train and the track and everything makes a little heart. It's a little crooked, but... <laughs> All right. Are we picking up speed? No, we're, no, we're not picking up speed yet either still. Okay. We're still good on speed. I just need to keep an eye on that. 13, we are picking up speed now. Maybe. No, we're staying at an even 13. Okay. It's a reasonable speed. Let's get it actually going a little bit more. We're going up to 63% regulator. There we go. We're going to come down a little bit too. There we go. Yeah, the trees are like doing the billboard thing because we're so high up in the air. There we go. Nice. Maybe get a little bit ahead so we can see some more of the track coming up ahead of us. There we go. <laughs> it works better with the Heisler, doesn't it? Be cool if you have you have all of them go at the same time, and you have to, that's how you do your multiple tones. I forget what they call them. They don't call them chords or anything, or tritones. They call them something else. They got all their own special, all those trackers, you know, they got all their own special, special terminology. All right. I know you think it's trackies, but it's trackers. <laughs> all right, let's go over this way a little bit. Can we, can we move? Huh. Nope. There. Now I can move. <laughs> All right. Comes the back end. Yep, yeah, we're still going decent speed, 13 and a half, 14. We're staying between under 14. Ah, oh, nice. Apparently there's a tornado warning. <laughs> Do 
you can watch the train. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna see what's going on with this tornado warning while you watch the train. I don't think it's for my area because it would go off. Let me see. Let's see what's going on here. Doesn't look tornado y from where I'm at. Um. Okay, yeah, it's not near, near me. All right, we'll see. I think we're good. <laughs> Let's see what we've got for our... Let's see what we've got for our train here. Beautiful. I think we're going to sit in the cab for a minute, too. We'll go back and sit in the cab. Turn that off, too, so you can get a nice view here. Can we get in? There we go. I think we're speeding up too. Okay. Let me let me take off some regulator here. I think we're going downhill. Yeah, it's popcorning my thing too. Here. There we go. All right, and let's see what we've got. Let's go like this. We're gonna look the other way. There we go, we're gonna look back. All right. Yeah, we still have all of our cars. <laughs> Still have all the cars on there. It showed them popping off for a second. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, yep, we're still all connected. But yeah, we're we're coasting here for a little bit because we did have some uh, we did have some speed issues there. All right, let's go like this. And we do need to put some some fuel back in these. Let's fuel these while we're doing this. Is it going to show me? Can I see it? There we go. We're going to grab the firewood off of this. So that we don't have to pull it off this tiny little stack. It's almost empty already, isn't it? Is it, is it letting me? I can't tell. Let me see, can I get in and see? Fuel 30. Yeah, see, it's not. There, there we go. Did it hit? It didn't hit. There it goes. <laughs> All right, and then we'll get in the Heisler here. Grab some fuel here. All right, good. Our current speed is 9.1. We'll walk back this way. There we go. All right, we're going to go um, back to... 
flying, I think. If we can. There we go. I just want to use it as a little bit more distant. There we go. Just a little bit more distant uh, viewpoint. See, this river is going... All right, I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, we are back. Yeah, it was a legit tornado warning. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I had to go hide in the basement for a while. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna continue, and I think we are on an uphill right now because it was stopping on its own. So we're gonna let the the brakes off here. There we go. Is that one pulling off the track or something? Is it trying to pull off the track? What's it doing? It's kind of weird, isn't it? Why is that one doing that? I wonder. It's just that one. It's just the one engine, though. Right? Yeah, we are at 100%. I've got the Sanders on. We are at 100% reg. Or... <laughs> It broke from 0 to 0 0.1, so we're at 0 0.05, I think. All right, let's go like this, and let's go see what's going on with this one. I assume when that one comes back onto the track that it'll run better. I'm not sure why it's doing that, though. That's weird. Is it going to come back on the track, or is it just going to fall off? Are they all doing this? Do we? Oh, we've got a rock here. Okay. All right. Um, hold on. <laughs> let's go reverse. Uh, let's go like this. See if we can pull this back. You know what? Let's go like this. Um, we're going to stop. We're going to stop all of them. Let me put on all the brakes. Hold on. Put on all the brakes on all the engines. Synchronize. We're going to turn this off. And then what we're going to do is we're going to disconnect these. So I need to connect, disconnect that. And then we're going to pull these two forward if we can. So I need to, to back this one up if I can. So let's see if we can back this one up. Because we're going to need to basically um, take that track. I think I think I probably should. Here. I'm probably going to have to. Um, yeah. It might not be enough to move it. I'm probably going to have to uh, go offline and end the episode here and, <laughs> and fix this track. And then come back. I think we're going to have to fix this track. And in order, to, in order to fix this track, I'm going to have to get this back far enough wherever this segment ends. I don't know where this segment ends, and we did some pretty long segments here. So I'm going to see what I can do as far as that goes. It does have the sander. It is moving. Okay, we're going to let that keep moving, and we're going to see if we can get this. But I think that's what we're going to have to do. So let me at least get this clear of here first before we, before we get out of here. Let's see if we can get this to work. We're going to go forward, see if we can pull this one onto the track, maybe. I don't know, we might have to re-rail that one. We'll have to get a crane out here, right? <laughs> yeah, I think we might have to get a, here, let's see if we can get this one to, uh, to move. This is where they're all going to go nuts, right? Go like this. Oh, the brakes are on. That probably helps. See if we can get this to move. There we go. All right. And apparently this one is able to pull harder than the other one's brakes. All right. Let's get moving up here. Oh, let's go up to where the... Yeah, let's get this up onto the thing. 
get this up onto the that so that we know where we've got this segment out of here. And then we should be able to fix this. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't test your track first, right? All right. And we are safe. Okay, so we can turn that, turn the regulator off, turn the brakes on. All right, and let's go like this. Let's make sure this one's off too. Regulator's off, brakes on. Okay. All right, so that one's good. Let's go back here and see if our Heisler is moving at all. But this segment of track here is what we need to deal with. We've got a rock right there. <laughs> Tiny little, yeah, a couple of them. Okay. Is this moving at all? It's moving, but barely. <laughs> all right. I don't know. Maybe if I get enough room, I can put the other one on, in front of it and, and, and do that too. But, oh, there it goes. There it goes. All right. So let's see if we can get this past that segment. Here. Let's get back up in here. That was a little disorienting, wasn't it? All right. We're going to get pa back past this segment, wherever it is, and see what we can do. It was like perfect timing that it decided to do that right as I... It was like tornado warning, and there's a rock in the track. You know, those things go together, right? <laughs> I think there's a segment right up here, isn't there? Isn't there a segment change? I think there's a segment change. Let's see. Because there's, there's a... Uh, we'll cross the river up here. So we should be able to bring it back up there, and then um, I will fix that. So yeah, that's actually going to be it for episode 26. We're not going to make it to the <laughs> we're not going to make it to the mine this time, but we will make it up to the coal mine next time. So yeah, join me in episode 27 after I fix that rock, and we'll see you then later.